crazy up and down um, road. David Klein, please take a seat. Thank you very much. Anywhere, anywhere you want. Okay. I'm still walking. Um, I do want to thank a ton of people to help us get this far. It has been um, an incredible journey for just me, but an incredible friendship that I've made here with a lot of people, especially my seniors. And I have a few favorites, but I'm going to do a little bit of a speech. Just a little. Not that long. Um, the Senior Center was opened in 2008. It was purchased by the town of Abington. Um, it used to be a church here. For those who don't know this, I think everyone does. Um, since then, there's been a lot of ups and downs. Um, a lot of work has gone into the Senior Center. But I have to say, there's one thing about Abington seniors and the senior citizens here. They are a feisty bunch. They are a feisty, feisty bunch. And their voices will be heard. With our newsletter, with going to town meeting, with calling our town department employees, their voices will be heard here. Um, forgive me, because there's so many people I want to thank right now. And if I miss anyone, please forgive me. Uh, I would like to bring attention to a few people that are here now. Bill Kendall, can you raise your hand? Bill Kendall has helped the Senior Center, has raised money for the last 20 more years to bring this Senior Center into, a Senior Center into fruition. Um, he has helped me with his, the history of Abington and the history of the Abington Senior Center, and he deserves a huge applause. Another uh, organization that has helped us with our transportation and has bought our first van is um, Lois Kelly, Mary Graham, Beverly Alexander has helped us. They bought our first van here and they have always supported the transportation for the Abington Senior. Mary Graham has also in this group, the Abington Elderly Association has also provided postage and helps us with the postage that we desperately need to get out our newsletter. And if you haven't noticed, there are newsletters on every table from past years to present years. Please take a look at them. It gives you a lot of information on what's going on in this town. Um, the Friends of Abington Seniors, without your support, we would not have been here. You kept us going in the lean years, and I thank you for that. Um, the Abington Senior Citizens Association, in the past have helped us. They have disbanded since now, but they were a huge help. Maude Edson was a huge help to me when I first got hired here. Uh, the Abington Lions Club, Kenny Coyle is not here. I want to send accolades to him in the Lions Club. They have always been supportive of our fuel assistance. Last year, I think we did over 50 clients <coughs> for fuel assistance that are in need. We are a source of information here at the Senior Center as far as social services. People come here and we catch all. I have an amazing, amazing staff. And without their help, I wouldn't be here. We would not be here. Um, Anderson Insulation, got to do a big shout out to them. They've helped us. They put insulation when there was no insulation in this building in 2009. And they installed it paid for it, helped us out, and anything we ever did. Thank you, Beverly Alexander. Good part. Um, let me thank the town departments. We have been in um, pinches here that we needed somebody to climb a roof, bring stuff to an attic, change the light bulbs, just help our seniors and check in with them. I want to thank the fire department, the police department, the highway, the park and rec, uh, the DPW, town manager, town assistant manager, accountant, just for being here and helping us with these little things is a tremendous help in a whole. I'd like to also thank all the selectmen here and past. Without your support for the Southampton Senior Center, we would not be here. Thank you. the staff that I started with. Jean Connell, Cheryl Cohen, Fred Robertson, 
Norma Clark, who's here, uh, Jack Brown, Dave Wacadero, and Susan Young, Karen Butler, Stan Shura. Thank you in the beginning. You guys helped support us. You came in. You did extra hours. In the couple of years that we were here in the beginning, you guys worked amazing, beyond amazing for me. And I thank you and I honor that for all of you. Now, and now my staff. And I won't be here up here that long. My staff. I have three amazing girls who go out of their way for this town and for the seniors. Amy Barrett is outreach. You can call her. Everybody has our cell phone numbers. We are available for you. Meals on Wheels. Michelle Roberson. She has helped amazing this last year. She has been with us for a year and has gone over and above her job. Amanda, she takes the blunt of everything. She is our transportation, our first one on the phone. She is amazing and she is tough. <laughs> don't mess with her. That, don't mess with that little girl. My drivers, Jack Libby, Jeff Brown, Mel, Michelle Plutonia, thank you. Thank you for always being there, transporting my seniors to all their doctor's appointments, hairdressers, and here. Anything you need. And after hours, come in and pick them up too. I thank you. I thank you all for that. and unfortunately he's not here, he's out on um, disability. So let's take a moment with that. I want to say that we have broken uh, um, Jeff Deal and Senator Keenan unfortunately could not be here. They've got some political stuff to do, but they did give us citations of recognition which I, we will hang in our hallway so you guys can all see it. And also, we found old books. I don't know if Lois gave them to me. These are articles, pictures, books of things that happened in the past in Abington. Not just the Senior Center. Take a moment and flip through the books. You'll see people that you, you forgot about. And all of a sudden, those memories come back. So take a moment for that. And let's just remember, I just want to say, I'm honored to be here. It's been a long road. And I want to say, you know, just be kind to each other. I want you to be kind. That's, that's what I want you to leave with. Just let's all be kind to each other. I have Dave Majewski, the police chief, wants to say a few words. As long as um, the assistant town manager, Dory Jameson. Oh my God, you're on the spot now. Come on up, we're pretty casual here. They won't, they won't do that. We're out of First of all, I just wanted to say thank you. Uh, a couple of things. That, um, it's an honor to be here. It really is. And I'll keep my remarks really, really brief. Um, it really is an honor. Um, on the way in, a couple of seniors happened to mention to me about prescription drugs, getting rid of them. Um, just so you all know, I have everybody here. If you have prescription drugs that you need to get rid of, you can come right to the police station. We're open 24 hours, seven days a week. As you walk through the, the, uh, you know, the, you know, the entrance, it's right on the right hand side. So uh, just, just so you know that. Just, uh, but the reason I'm here is just to say thank you. Uh, see, many of you can tell way too many stories of me when I was a kid, so I have to be really nice uh, growing up. But uh, you know, what this is all about for me, um, you know, sometimes, you know, as you know, many of you know, I, I like to visit the seniors, and every once in a while I'll get a senior that'll say, are you running for office? I'm like, no, I'm not running for office. It's my way of saying thank you, because this is a great town, as we all know, and it's a great town because of you. Like, it's an honor. You paved the way. Every one of you here, whether you're from Abington or in a different community where you might have paved the way, you are the reason this is a great town. You are the people that paved the way. You are the people that, you know, took the time and, and coached us in Little League or, or ran the bake sales or whatever it might have been uh, way back when. Uh, and I have never forgotten that and will never forget that. So, thank you.
Thank you. I appreciate it. And uh, good stuff. All right? Thanks. Thank you. Thank you to the Council on Aging, the Friends of the Seniors and the Seniors. Um, I'm really honored to be here today, and it's such a remarkable achievement. Ten years is something to be so proud of. And I remember when this was happening, like 12 years ago, we were looking for a senior center. And it used to be right around the corner from us at Town Hall, Linda and Norma. And uh, we were sad at the thought that you were going to leave, but we were so happy when we had a building. And it was a church, and it was a building, and you had to make it a senior center. And you did. And it's still the same building, yet it's entirely different. And that's because of you and everything, your determination and your love you put into this. I mean, look at all the things that you offer, the care that you give to others. The activities are endless. You even have a pickleball court, state of the art. You're even going to have lights for it so you can play pickleball at night. I'm just wondering if you ever sleep. I mean, you really are truly amazing. And it's just an amazing opportunity that you can connect with the community, and the community is so proud of you. And I just want to say thank you. I'm honored to be here, and Abington loves its seniors. Thank you so much. Okay, so let's just take a moment to remember those who, can no, who are no longer with us. Um, and a few off the top of my head, Stan Sherrick, Fred Robertson, Hank Cahill. Uh, I just lost my train of thought. There's a ton of them. Mary Wilson, Hazel Libby, Mr. and Mrs. Donlin, who started this a long time ago, their benches are out front. Um, let's just take a moment of silence to remember the men and women who serve in our armed forces and thank them, because we would not be here without them risking their lives for us. And my last words, thank you to the COA board. Without you guys, with your help, with your guidance, and sometimes we agree to disagree, we, I would not have you guys um, any other way. With all the um, discussions that we've had, for all of your help, I love you. I'm honored to be your friend, and I'm honored to work here. Thank you so much. I would like to um, just make an announcement. Abington Celebrates starts today with our band here. Foreman in Texas, and we have fireworks on Saturday. Thank you, Jan Krell. Where are you? Hi. Thanks, Jan. Oh, you're one Thanks. Thanks for anything. Nancy Reed, love you to death. <coughs> Don't know where you are, but thank you. Thank you again.
Thank you. 